Tired of the same old boring burrito bowls? Well, adios, Chipotle, because today we're going to create a hearty meal that's delicioso and satiating. While this is a simple dish, it does have many components. I'm starting by flavoring my beans. I'm going to saute chopped onions in some neutral oil. Once soft, I add in minced garlic and the seasonings. And the black beans go in. My canned beans have been drained and rinsed very well. The flavor needs some brightening, so my acid of choice is lime juice. Now I'm cooking some vegan ground beef. I thought I would try out the Impossible brand Light Ground for the first time. I don't love the amount of oil in the regular Impossible Ground, however the Light had no oil, which I also did not love. I ended up adding a tablespoon of neutral oil to the faux meat. I'm adding some chopped onion and minced garlic. For seasoning, I'm using my own taco seasoning. You can use the taco seasoning that you like, but let me know in the comments if you'd like my seasoning recipe. Now that the faux meat is done, I'm going to make some charred corn. I love to use fresh corn, but since it's out of season, I'm using frozen today. Cook this on medium-high heat until it is cooked through and add the seasonings. A squeeze of lime finishes this layer of flavor. I'm a firm believer that every element of the dish should be seasoned and stand on its own. So we are flavoring the rice. I'll start with adding some extra virgin olive oil. Chopped cilantro goes in, the zest of a lime along with its juice and a bit of salt. These seemingly insignificant additions transform the dish from ordinary to extraordinary. Finally, I am prepping the vegetables. I like to use iceberg lettuce in a heavier dish like a burrito bowl. Another great choice would be romaine. 
I'm cutting the lettuce into ribbons. In a dish like this, you want to get a bite of several elements, and therefore larger lettuce pieces just do not work. I'm chopping tomatoes into smallish pieces. I remove the seeds just so that the tomato isn't very wet. And it's finally time to layer the burrito bowl. You can seriously layer this any way that you want. I'm going to start with lettuce at the bottom. Then I add all of the hot ingredients. One of the toppings is a queso that I made from whole plant foods. It's creamy, spicy, and delicious. Check out my recipe that I'll link in the description box for this simple recipe with incredible flavor. Oh, a perfect avocado. Isn't that always so exciting? I haven't perfected a vegan sour cream yet, so I decided to try a store brand. And I was not disappointed. Although thicker than traditional, the flavor is spot on. When I'm not making my own salsa, Mrs. Renfro's is my go-to. This brand tastes authentic and the flavors are very fresh. Oh, and I made these little tortilla strips by cutting corn tortillas and frying them in a bit of oil. I salted them generously. You should use whatever chips or strips that you enjoy. A bit of black olives completes the meal. Ooh, I almost forgot the jalapenos. Muy delicioso. Salud.